Hello and welcome to another gear review with me, Anjay. Those of you who are astute may have noticed I've been wearing the same t-shirt for three videos running. The reason for this is I'm travelling through February a little bit and uh, Zoom were kind enough to send me a load of Veilton pedals to review, so I thought I'd get a couple done in a row uh, along with the Zoom um, G14 that uh, I put up a couple of weeks ago. Today I'm looking at the PH10 Phaser, which is a two control phaser, obviously in the style of a boss. Let's give it a whirl. So, my signal chain is guitar into DS1 into phaser into amp sim. Um, I'm going to set everything to 12 o'clock. All you have on this phaser, and apparently it's modeled off a boss phaser, um, is rate and depth. So at 12 o'clock, my clean sound is with the phaser. distortion going into it. I change the rate. Almost like a chorus effect. If I change the depth to like full on as deep as it'll go. The other way. Clean with it off. Rates all the way up, depths all the way down. More of a kind of chorusy sound again. Um, rates all the way up, depth to about 12. Rates down all the way to zero, depth all the way up. Bring the rate up a bit to midday. I'm smiling and, and laughing and chuckling. I never used to like Phaser very much. I always preferred Flanger. Um, and then very recently I heard Albert King playing with Stevie Ray Vaughan in a, in a session from a few years, well, from quite a few years back. And um, I was quite surprised that Albert King, who is a pretty clean player, was using a Phaser on his, uh, on his sound. And it was set to a very similar setting to this. <laughs> And it was really odd to hear this kind of old school blues being played through a phaser and it just sounded really good and actually it's something I've kind of adopted, not actually with a phaser, I've adopted it a little bit with a rotary speaker sound just to add a little bit of depth to, to your playing when you're in a, a small group, or even actually, you probably work in a big group, because it just it makes you stand out slightly without sounding too horrendous. Now, a lot of people don't like the modulation effects, but if you, if you kind of just make it a little bit more subtle. <laughs> a lot of the coldness you get with chorus I think and I actually much prefer it. As I said if you if you turn the depth right down and the rates up you get a very nice chorus effect. And then yeah 
yeah, you get that night. You can go all the way up to that really nice, slow, sweeping. <laughs> sounds great and again as I said with the OC 10 last week it's my, something I might have to get hold of because actually the two controls the form factor of it make it just a really really nice little phaser pedal to have in your your effects chain so yeah another another example of a veil tom pedal I think actually kick it, knocking it out of the park really uh, and I just again I love the form factor it's just a cute little boss ish pedal um, but yeah great stuff so uh, what do you think? Are you a modulation effect person? I know lots of people who hate mod effects. Um, I love them used sparingly and in the right context. Let me know your thoughts. Get in the comments, like, subscribe, find me on Twitter and Instagram, Dave Rage on both. Uh, and until next time, I'll see you soon.